Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 55 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Marty Miller with Summit Property Group coming to you today from Spring Masterminds, Boca Raton, Florida. Super excited about Tech Masterminds tomorrow morning and learning a ton throughout the next three days. Um, and we'll hopefully have some new information to share with you soon. And yet today's challenge, we have been talking previously on multiple challenges in the past about assigning our contacts to neighborhoods and then creating and sharing with them, both through a smart plan or individual URLs, their neighborhood snap page. I wanted to show you something that has been added to the neighborhood snap pages so that you are aware when it begins to happen for you, is that when you send out the neighborhood snap page, this is what it's going to look like. So your clients will get this neighborhood snap page. It'll obviously be customized for them based upon the neighborhoods that you have assigned to them. And when they are looking at the neighborhoods, they can actually see down below active homes that are for sale in that neighborhood. So when you come down to the bottom, obviously you can see several different properties here. It's taken a second to load. Of course, I'm on the... Uh, and the resort Wi-Fi, so taking its sweet little time. And yet, so for example, 7011 Champion Trail. So if your buyer was to click on this listing because they were interested in it, they now have the opportunity to go see it. When they click on this button from the listing information, they're actually going to get a form that has several dates that are available to choose from several times, and then they can click on next. So say one of your clients wanted to see this tomorrow, at five o'clock, they would click next. Then they're gonna fill in all of their information and any notes. They are then asked if they are working with a real estate agent or not, and they can choose yes or no. And then they click on schedule home tour. From there, two things happen. One, they receive an email, and that's what the email looks like. So this is the email that they will receive. Martin William Miller was the name, of, that was my name as the contact your agent, Marty Miller, will be in contact with you soon to confirm the date and time while you wait, click below to browse around neighborhood and favorite other properties. So basically it takes them back to that neighborhood landing page. In addition, I wanted to show you that this is what will happen on your phone. So you're going to get a notification through Kelly that you have received a new scheduled tour request. This is when I got into Kelly and then clicked on the bell in the top right corner and got the notification. So a couple of things. One, I would highly recommend that in your notification settings for Kelly, you put on persistent banner. Um, that's one of the iPhone settings. I'm not 100% sure, sure what it is on Android, although I'll put a link to that. But basically what I don't want to happen is for a pop-up to happen real quick, you get a showing request and then it goes away and you're not consistently and regularly checking your Kelly alerts and you're gonna miss that opportunity. So be sure to put in that um, settings so that you see the request come up on Kelly so you're not missing those. But super exciting, cool way for your clients to reach out to you and contact you directly. It will only happen, however, if you are setting them up on neighborhood snaps. So again, once again, make sure that you're going through assigning all of your contacts to neighborhoods, get them on the smart plan, send their URL to them, so that way they can look at homes and schedule a tour directly through you. Guys, that's pretty much it. Today's challenge, so play around. Make sure your contacts all have neighborhoods. Do a test send so you can see what that looks like on your own. Um, and as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your Monday.